do you remember how to read this bolded word? Here is Ishigawa Good on the guess. western side. Yes, Nishigawa. I heard Ishi, but you probably said Nishi. Um, how oh, do you I think see. you read this word? Uh, this is Ryogawa on both okay. sides. Yeah. Ryogawa, perfect. How would you read this word? This is Ken Kenmono. Good guess. Kenbutsu. Good guess. Um, Kenmono beast looks like this. Totally different kanji. Uh, Bakemono monster. Totally different kanji, but you're right. The last part is mono. This is tate mono. A tate mono is a biru, a building. So a yashiki is an example oh. of a tate mono. This is a generic building word. Money is could this be, could this be, be related to the word tateru, to mm. be on one's foot, to mm. be on to be. Standing. Mm, I Teru? don't. Ta, ta, teru. This one. Oh, wait. that's wrong. Ta, te, do. Yeah. Oh, stand. To, to be teru. built. To stand. To, it, ta, with this or kanji to, this one to, to be, be built. built, like to be oh. erected. To have a building built up. Ta, te, do. Right. That, that kanji is what that means. Right. Yes. I also feel like it sounds like to be established or to stand yes. on one's foot i've never heard of to stand on one's foot but it could be that i might be a metaphor meaning for it i've only used it to refer to, i've only seen it used to refer to buildings being built in like a specific location like it was built in 1956 Hi. type of sentence um but, so and what i with... really mean is it's the other it's the other tateru verb money. Like if you type yeah. it in, it has the the different. You know, do you know what I mean? It's like the one yeah. where we came across before. He he. The sound a standing tateru? stop. Hi, that Tachi one. Tachi domaru is the standing stop. Uh, the first tateru okay. is to um make a noise or to make something stand up, like he um. Stood up his cane, I think, with Tateru in a earlier chapter. But you're right, that is they are right. related. Uh yes. So yeah, right. building is tatemono. Let's go read this sentence. Uh Yasura. Yasuragi te. Yasuragi te wa tatemono da. Yasuragi is Yasuragi. So you don't actually don. have to good guess. Um it's not Don. It is um peaceful heart kind of. Peace. Um but so... you don't have to translate names of things if you don't want to. It is very common in translations of media that you don't actually translate the names of locations and stuff. That's why when you watch Naruto, they'll call it characters like Sakura rather than calling um, them fish cake and cherry blossoms. It's very common for things just to keep their Japanese -y name rather than translating. So you don't have to translate Yasuragi, but you do have to translate Te. Because that's like the right. grammar there versus the title of the location. Hi, Yatsura Mansion. Hi, Yatsuragi Mansion. Is Tatemono da? Is a building. Perfect. It is a building. So this would be used in the same kind of grammar that we'll use, like that you saw Tokoro used earlier, which is the Tatsuragai wa Tokoro da. The Twilight District is a place. You'll see this kind of thing in Japanese in order to describe a location with a lot of extra information using relative clauses. And that's like the most natural way of doing it rather than not having this and just be describing the location. That's like odd for whatever reason in Japanese. It's much more common to um, restate what the thing is. So we have a name location, say what kind of thing it is, and then describe it is the most common thing you'll do if you'll be describing something for a while. Um, can you read this word for me? Eguru. 
Hi. Egudu is to hollow something out or to gouge something out. In the context, it should be um to hollow out, not like gouging out someone's eye, but egudu. That's what that means. It's like a scoop in motion. Egg. Egudu. Uh, hi. And it scoop is it a out. verb. Um, what is the passive form of egudu? Egurareru. Hi, egurareru. Okay, so we're here we have yoni natteiru. What did that mean again? It's yoni naru. It Hi. come to be. Yes, it came to be. So let's go read this sentence from our book. Yashiki o no. Man, manaka wa okiku. Egura reta yoni natte iru ga. Sono ryo gawa ni haimono haimamo. It's actually niwa, but that's a good. It it makes sense to assume it's haima, but it's it's uh niwa right here. Um, you can only know this by context. It's not like a grammatical obvious. I imamo hatemon mono ga notte ita. No ko. No ko te ita. The yashiki no manaka wa in the middle of the the estate. In the middle of the estates. Okiku egurareta yo ni natte iru ga. There is a lot. There is, there is la um, egurareta yoni, like something was scooped out. Hey. So, something was scooped out, not the iru. Something came to be scooped out. Right. We have a large passive something. form. Right, passive form. So the manaka was scooped out. Or was hollowed out. Hi. So the middle of the man of the estate came to be hollowed out. A large hollow. Hi. Largely out. hollowed out. So no Yugawa ni wa on either side. So no Ryogawa. Right, Mani? Ryogawa? Hi. Yep. On either side of this hollow, ima mo, ima is right now, mo is the particle even. So even now, tatte mono ga nokotte ita, there still remain. Or the building remains. Yep, a building still remains on both on sides side. of the middle hollowed out area of the mansion. Hi. So whatever this mansion Hi. looked like, there's a big hole in the middle, but the sides are still there, still standing. Um, how do you say front entrance door? Uh, the entrance. Of a door is Genkang. Hi. Genkang. Genkang. Oh. No, Genkang. Forgot what that last kanji is funny. The one that stands for door. Tobira. Tobira. Genkang Tobira. How about window? Tobira. Window is home. Oku. Good guess. It's not Oku. Oku is um interior, oh, okay. like within something. 
window is Mado. Mado. Hi, Mado. And what is cloudy? Mado. Cloudy is hi, harate. Mm, I think you're thinking about I think you're thinking about nice weather. Um, which is harete. That's like sunny weather. Guma. Cloudy, yes. Kumote. Kumoru because kumo means cloud. Kumote. Hey. Um, you know this word? What is it? Mm, yashiki yep, mansion. Yashiki. No, not mansions. Estate, which includes the mansion. How do you think you read this word? Um, yane. Yep, yane. You probably already know this, but yane is the roof. Yane. Starts with yeah. What did it end with? Uh, ne. Ne. Funnily enough, the ne here is the word root, which I feel like roof and root sound weirdly similar. Roof, root. Yeah, ne. Hi. Um, can you read the sentence for me? This is yasuragi te no yane wa kuroi. The roof of Yatsuragi Mansion is black. Perfect. Can it's you read this word? Uh, kaidan. Yep, kaidan. Perfect. So something's going to go missing. Boom. Can you read this for me? Kai. Date. Yep, kai date. This date right here, it's the same date that we saw in tate mono. Tate mono no date. Kai. Kai date refers to how tall a building is, specifically how many stories it is. So this building right here is apparently four stories. Yon kai date. Um, so kai datte is um not a verb, it's not a verb, it's stories. Um, so how would you put that into te form? How would you put something that is a noun basically, it's a counter, um, into te form? A noun te form, we need de, yes, kai datte de, <laughs> kai datte de. Um, next word. Can you read this for me? Meaning that. Yeah. Hi. Right. Kawara. Kawara is um tiles, like the tiles of a roof. Um, like those Japanese little boop, 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 tiles. Kawara. This kind of looks a little Kawara. bit like a weird little tile. Okay. So. Yane is made of kawara. Kawara. Hi. Um. Now we get, wait. Do you know how to read this word? Ka. Mm, Sorry. To line up. Yes. Nu. Nunde. Good guess. It is na. No. Ra. Narandeiru. Narabu. Randeiru. To line up. How about this word? Narande. Mado. Perfect. So let's go read this sentence from the book. Dochira mo yon um yon kai yon kai date de kawara kawara yane no sugu sika ni. Um, chisana mado ga narande iru. So, do you remember Chita. what this dochira is referring to? Would have been from our last sentence. Dochira referring to this 
this object or this side of things? That's a good guess. That's not really what it means. So the last sentence mentioned ryogawa. Ryogawa, which means both sides, which has an insinuation of two items. Ryogawa. Dochira refers to two items in a way that means whichever. Dochira mo means which, either both of them or neither of them. In this context, with our mo, our verb is narandeiru, which is positive. So it means both. So you could say ryoho if you wanted to. Ryoho mo yon kai datte would also be grammatically correct. Because both are ways to say both. Or ryogawa. Tatemono no ryogawa. So it's talking about the left and right or whatever sides of this building, which I've been separated into two different buildings, basically, with a big ass hole in the middle. So what do we know right. about what's left of the building? What's left of Yasuragite? What is it? Um, that it is yon, um, yon kai dat tere. It had four floors. Right. It is also kawara yane no sugu shita ni immediately beneath the roof that are tiles. Right. Chisana Madoga the small windows Narande Iru they line up. Right. Perfect. Yep. There are small windows oh, lining up yes. right underneath the roof tiled roof. <laughs> the roof that is tiled. Right. So what does Dotiramo mean again? Right. Either one or both of them. It means yes, perfect. It, it means either both or neither. Dochira. Oh, both or neither. Um, means like which, and then mo makes it into both or neither. So if it's not on day night, it means neither of them are lined up. So that's the Hi. mo version. Like dare mo means either everyone or no one, or nani mo means everything or nothing. Gosh, we luckily read this today already. Uh, I'm going to guess this is the word we want to check. Do you remember how to read this word? It means smoke. Uh, moyasu is to burn, and then smoke is... I give up money. It is ke... <laughs> I don't remember. The kemuri... Kemuri de. Hi. Kemuri. Um, do you know how to read this word? It means Kemuri. suddenly. Totsuzen. Totsuzen. Yep, Totsuzen. Perfect. Any idea how to read this word? So rather than being pronounced as Kemuri, this is being pronounced as N. N Q. Yeah, it's actually N Totsu. <laughs> N Totsu. Yeah, Totsu is N -totsu. weird. Uh, I'm not sure because like Totsu is, is also um like Tot. Yeah, so it's kind of funny like that. Um, it's a uh, T. 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 Uh, like uh, Tukiru. I'll do Tukiru, right? So this is actually read as um t when it's not married. T from tuku. That's what it was. So totsu versus tuku. So totsu is the married reading, tuku is the non-married reading. Anyway, en totsu. We have totsu, which do you know what totsu means? What's this meaning? Totsu is a hole. Not really, that's ana. Totsu is poke. Right. Like two poke from um tuku. And N is smoke. So when you get poking and smoke put together, this is referring to a chimney. It's the thing that pokes out of a house 
and smoke comes out. En totsu. Hai. En totsu. But so the en... single reading for en is kemuri. Yep, kemuri. So en totsu starts with what? Start with en. Perfect. So let's go read this sentence. En totsu ga. Ya ne ni tatsu. What does that mean? The chimney on top of the roof. Hi, yep. Perfect. Stand on the roof. I'm sorry, not on top. Theoretically, on the it means stand, but this can be used basically mean to be like built on the roof, like the tateru we saw earlier using um the using, other kanji. Um, the other kanji for it. Um, but tatsu is right. basically can be used to also refer to a building standing. Uh, this tateru, this would be used with a building. And this isn't a building, it's part of a building. So we can use tatsu. It literally does mean to stand. But it's we probably wouldn't use that word in English to say the roof, the, the chimney stood on the roof. I I think we, what would we say? I think it just says there's chimney on the roof. So on is perfect as a translation way of doing it. Um, so this word means unevenness. Can you read unevenness? Can you read it for me? Deko boko. Perfect. Deko boko. Deko. Fun word to say. Deko boko. They don't use this kanji, sadly, but it's a beautiful kanji that just shows how uneven. <laughs> it's pretty <laughs> symmetrical, but <laughs> kind of uneven if your um, floor looks like that or something. Deko boko. Um, can you read this for me? Takai en totsu wa deko boko da. The tall chimney. Uneven. Yes, the tall, tall chimney are... is uneven. So it could be chimneys or chimney. Um, in this context, it's going to be chimneys, saying that each chimney is at a different height. Theoretically, it could be like a weird chimney that was like, I don't know, what would uneven mean with that, but maybe like slanted. What would an uneven chimney look like? Um, probably wouldn't use dekoboko, but uh, it is chimneys in the context. Um, give me this word for me. Ranguiba. Hi. So Ranguiba. Hi. It has ha in here, which is teeth, and um kui ku, which is um steaks, funnily enough. I don't know what ran means on top of my head. But ranguiba is an uneven teeth. Um so Rangui. or crooked teeth or something like that. It's some kind of teeth that uh, not going to win the smile reward for whatever reason. Languiba. Kind of like um, Howl's Moving Castle's uh, teeth. Languiba. Hi. Okay. So let's go read this sentence. There's no furigana. I just forgot to delete it. That's why it says fushigi. <laughs> so this should be languiba. Hi. Hi. Languiba mitai janai. Yane ni tatsu. En totsu wa narande iru. Hi. So this comma lets us know we're talking about en totsu and not yane. That's like a grammar point. Talk about en totsu and not yane. So here we're saying ran gui ba. Mitai janai. Mitai janai. Okay, so here mitai describes the physical similarities. Hai. But here is in janai, dewa nai, it is not similar to crooked teeth. Hai. It's uneven, but not like that of crooked teeth. Well, uneven isn't in the sentence. We don't have dekoboko here. Hi. But I'm, I'm guessing I'm. This this un this 
he's saying that it's not like a crooked teeth, even though the previous sentence he say it's uneven. That could be something happened here, though. It's not uh, really saying that. Um, it says not on <laughs> it, it. I I would like read the sentence and assume that it's uh very even would be my guess without context. <laughs> but it it could hi. be. Um, so it could be crooked, say- but not like crooked teeth. But that'd be like a weird thing to say, as like saying it's uneven, but not as uneven as uncrooked teeth. Be yori could be used in that case. So yane ni tatsu and tatsu wa the chimney that stood on the roof. Narande iru, they lined up. Hi. The chimneys that are built on the roof or on not... the roof are lining up and they're not like what? They're lined up, not like. Not like crooked teeth. So they lined up. Probably evenly. evenly. Why didn't it say it? it lined up evenly? What? I'm just making random sentences. What? That's why it's blue. Blue pages are just oh, random oh, oh, sentences okay. that use your new the, vocabulary. The <laughs> oh, is that why you're so confused? Hi, hi, hi. Yeah, so it's just like Deco Boko we saw here. Just, it's just random I, sentences I, that use our new vocabulary. <laughs> Gotta I, turn off your brain for these. Hi, hi. Blue, <laughs> blue, blue are random. Hi, hi. Blue this are This is random. the actual sentence. Yes, our nice white. And this hi. is our last sentence of the day. <laughs> hi. So he's saying... Uh, yane, ya, yane ni tatsu. Nani hong. No, not nani. It's nan hong. Nan bong. Right. Is it nan bong money or Gosh. is it nan hong? Um, nan bong sounds more right nan-hong, than nan hong, but I'm going to Google it while you're <laughs> I was like, uh, counters. I, I want to guess pon. Nan bong, but that. Probably not that. It is nan bong. You're right. That sounded the most right. But nan bong takai en totsu wa ran gui ba mitai ni de go de ko boko da. Ah, it is uneven like crooked teeth. Aye. So the nitatsu nan bomono takai and so the the chimney the tall chimneys that are nan bomono that are numerous right right money I'm, yep. I'm I don't know what nan bom mean well, um, pon right that here are... is a counter for long cylinderish kind of objects like chimneys, and nan is a basically makes into a count counter with mo to basically mean bunches or all kind of word, like a bunch. So there is a lot of tall cylinder objects. The tall is over here as well. So we got double tall, um, which are the chimneys. So. That's a lot of chimneys. Several chimneys that are tall. Yaneni tatsu. The tatsu describe the nanbong. Right. It um it could definitely do entot- that. But um nanbon mo is kind of like a counter, so I just would count it for the yane. But in a way you are correct. There are times when that would do that. Um it's just this is just several. So it just says there stand several. Doesn't have like a meaning totally. That makes like it is grammatically a noun, but it's like a counter noun. So the thing is counting is this. So this is the thing that would be standing, but it is saying the several long objects are at the location of Yanenitatsu, right? And it just those items are defined in a later area. So you're correct, but it does sound confusing 
we need to do it that way for some reason. But yeah, that's grammatically correct. It would be describing this word rather than that word. But this word is gaining information from that word anyway. So it doesn't really matter in this context. Hi. So these these entots, these chimneys, Hi. they they are deco deco boco. They are uneven. Right. Um uneven as crooked teeth. Yep, uneven like good crooked teeth. Ran buiba. Hi. And they're on the roof. Perfect. Some are high. <laughs> yeah. Some the tall, the tall, they are tall, but they are 